Hey there, I'm Louis from Louis Loops. Um, so, if you're just now catching up, uh, a few days ago, the Wagale Neg, and I actually got it, caught it on video when I found it, which was pretty cool. Um, you can check out the video in the description, uh, but I just want to give you some updates. The, uh, the, the egg hasn't hatched, um, and the Woggle has been pretty much spending all of its time up there. I kind of let it just wander around now. I, I trust it. Uh, it hasn't really gone anywhere that I didn't want it to. It's been taking some of my socks for the egg, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, and I didn't really want to lock it down. But I th was thinking about how it's possible that the Woggle laid an egg. Because on Earth, um, and, and I again, we don't know if the Woggle is an alien, but I'm... I'm hypothesizing that it's an alien. Uh, but on Earth, usually when something lays an egg, there's two, you know, they reproduce with two creatures. So I was thinking, oh shoot, maybe there's another Woggle somewhere in here. So I started looking around a bunch. I couldn't find anything. Um, I looked way more than I looked for the first Woggle too. So I'm pretty sure there's no other Woggle. Uh, at least not yet, <laughs> but that brought me to try to think about how it's possible that it is reproducing. So I started doing a little bit more research, um, and I came to asexual reproduction. So I just want to tell you guys uh, pretty much what I've researched. I have it written down a little bit. So there's certain types of species on Earth that reproduce asexually, or that can reproduce asexually, asexually. and there's a few different types of asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction means that it doesn't need a second, um, a second one of its species to reproduce. It doesn't need like a, a mom and a dad. It's just one, and it splits or whatever. So there's a few different ki kinds, and I wanted to tell you um, the kinds that there are. So first, there's one called binary fission, which is that's with cells and bacteria, and most people, we all kind of learned about this in biology, you know mitosis meiosis when the cell splits um, that's one way that creatures reproduce asexually but there's a few more so and, and there's a few that I didn't know about um, there's one called fragmentation uh, that's with starfish and worms so if you're like if you have a worm you know and it gets cut in half sometimes that worm will grow into two identical of those worms and then they're they're each uh, one creature you know it was one creature cut in half grew into two that happens with starfish and stuff like that it's called fragmentation now those two i'm pretty sure are not how the woggle is reproducing because it's still you know there it's not there's not two of them uh but there's two other ways and and i think these ways might be um the explanation so the first is called budding um that's mostly with uh things like yeast basically um a yeast cell will will grow you know another yeast uh like it's like a growth um so i have trying to it'll it'll like it'll like grow a little growth on it and that'll get really big and then that'll split off and then there'll be two identical yeast cells uh so that's that's one it's called budding um but i don't i, I was thinking you know that i okay that kind of makes that could make sense but when I was researching, I found something pretty interesting that I had no idea about. Um, it's called parthenogenesis. Um, and it is when there's some creatures on Earth that reproduce with eggs um, asexually. It's not normal. You know, they don't normally reproduce this way, but uh, Komodo dragons do this. Uh, and there's other types of reptiles like lizards and snakes that do it. Uh, and there's insects and some fish. It's usually like a last resort kind of situation um, where they don't have one of the other gender. It's it's always a female that does it. Um, and they, they'll lay an egg, but that egg will still be fertilized um, even though there wasn't a male to fertilize it. Uh, now, a couple things about this. It's, like I said, it's like a last resort, you know, um, it's also only reproduce only produces males uh, Because genetically it just doesn't it doesn't make sense. It, it wouldn't work to reproduce females I don't really understand why um, I have to research that a little bit more But I think that 
that might be the explanation for how the Woggle laid an egg and how that egg could possibly be fertilized. We don't know if it's gonna hatch yet, but if it does hatch, um, that could be the explanation. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it normally lays eggs with another, the other gender and, and, um, uh, and it usually needs another one, but like in times of when it, in times when there's not that, it can reproduce asexually, or maybe it always reproduces asexually. Uh, it's something, you know, we're gonna have to figure out as time goes on. Hopefully this thing hatches. Uh, hopefully it does reproduce asexually and, and it's not just like laying an empty egg like a, a chicken would do. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that. Uh, all my research I'll throw in the description below so you guys can watch these videos that they describe these kind of different um, reproduction things there. Uh, and yeah, if you're just now watching this, um, uh, go ahead and check out my other videos. You can see this new, I found this alien creature, uh, which I mean, I guess you've probably assumed by now. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe down below or it, like it on Facebook or however you'd like. Uh, and I'll keep you guys updated when, if, uh, our new woggle hatches. I'm really excited. So yeah, it, it is kind of cool that uh, to know that f the Woggle is a female though. We kind of learned something new. It's got to be a female, right? Or I guess it could not have a gender like a cell. Yeah. Anyhow, pasta la pizza and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.